Today, we have a shocking video that will leave you speechless. A disturbing incident unfolded in South Carolina when a black man, Clarence Galeyard, was stopped by the police. The encounter quickly escalated, resulting in officer David Lance Dukes stomping on the back of Galeyard's head. Let's see how these stupid cops get caught by cops. You won't believe what happens next. Trust me, you don't want to miss what's coming. Recently, the city of Orangeburg announced that Gilliard would receive $650,000 in compensation for the incident. However, this incident raises broader questions about police brutality, accountability, and the treatment of marginalized communities. How did a routine stop escalate into such a violent encounter? What does this incident reveal about the need for police reform in addressing systemic issues within law enforcement? But before we dive into the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss an update. Now, without further ado, let's get right into it. In South Carolina, a black man named Clarence Gilliard experienced a horrifying incident at the hands of the police. Body camera footage from July 26 captured the shocking moment when Officer David Lance Duke stopped Mr. Gilliard and ordered him to lie on the ground. But what happened next was absolutely appalling. Officer Dukes, who was later fired, can be seen pointing a gun at Mr. Gilliard, who is on his hands and knees. Instead of handling the situation appropriately, Officer Dukes stomps on the back of Mr. Gilliard's head, causing his forehead to hit the ground. It's a disturbing display of excessive force. Now, here is the plot twist that you've been waiting for. After the incident, the city of Orangeburg, South Carolina, announced that Mr. Gilliard would receive $650,000 in compensation for the trauma he endured. This case highlights the urgent need for accountability and justice within our law enforcement system. But that's not all. We have more shocking stories to share with you. Let's move on to the next video clip. In Arkansas, a chief deputy named Michael Kyle Dunn was arrested for driving under the influence while on patrol. State Trooper Michael Valentine noticed Deputy Dunn's erratic driving and pulled him over. Despite being in a position of authority, Deputy Dunn refused to comply with the field sobriety test. Trooper Valentine remained professional throughout the encounter, refusing to give Deputy Dunn any special treatment. Eventually, Deputy Dunn was cited for driving under the influence and refusing the breathalyzer test. Justice was served, but it's a clear reminder that no one is above the law. And now for our final shocking story. The sheriff, James Lujan from Rio Riva County in New Mexico, used his power to interfere in an investigation. When the Espanola Police Department attempted to arrest a suspect involved in a stabbing incident, Sheriff Lujan arrived at the scene and demanded the police officers leave the suspect alone. The police officers, dedicated to upholding the law, refused to back down. They smell alcohol on Sheriff Lujan's breath and called for backup from Espanola PD. Despite resistance from the sheriff and his colleagues, justice prevailed and Sheriff Lujan was charged with obstructing an officer. These cases serve as reminders that we must hold our law enforcement accountable for their actions. It is crucial to support the officers who uphold the law with integrity and bring justice to those who abuse their power. As citizens, we have the responsibility to demand transparency and accountability from our law enforcement agencies. Instances of misconduct like the ones that we have just shown you are not isolated incidents. They highlight the systemic issues that exist within our justice system. For example, the case of Clarence Gilliard and the officer David Lance Dukes serves as a distressing example of police brutality and the disproportionate use of force against marginalized individuals. While the compensation of Gilliard brings some measure of accountability, it also highlights the urgent need for comprehensive reform within law enforcement agencies. These incidents highlight the systemic issues that persist within our justice system, emphasizing the importance of transparency, accountability, and support for officers who uphold the law with integrity. As citizens, it is our responsibility to demand change and work towards a more just and equitable society. Well, that's all for today's video. If you found this content informative, make sure to hit the like button and share it with others. Let's continue the conversation in the comment section down below. 
And as always, thank you for watching. Stay safe and we will see you in the next video.